Now going to question 17. Here we have the equation of the line already graphed for us. So we can get the slope as rise over run as you go from left to right. Now, when you get the slope as a slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, when you use the slope formula to get the slope using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, what you're really doing is you're measuring the rise, because the difference between the two y values is how far you moved vertically, over the run, which is the difference between the two x values. But if you do have a graph, you want to remember that to get the slope, you should measure the rise over run as you go from left to right. And that'll help you stay on track as far as whether your slope is a positive or a negative one. Because in this example here, going from left to right, you could see that it was on its way down. So rise over run as you go from left to right. So here, let's do it from this point to this point. Our rise is negative 8 and our run is positive 8. So the slope rise over run is negative 8 over positive 8 which is just negative one. Now the y-intercept, the b, well, that's this point right here. That's where it's hitting the y-axis, and that's negative eight. So putting that together as a y equals mx plus b, we have y is negative one x minus eight. And that matches answer choice C here.